With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, the problem states that the specific capacity CP and CV of a gas of diatomic molecule A given in the units of joule per mole per kelvin are by 29 and 22 respectively. Another gas of diatomic molecule B has the corresponding values 30 and 21 respectively. If they are treated as the ideal gas, so we have to check the options. Now let's understand the concept. Since in the options we can see, uh, we have to check A and B among gas A and B which has the vibrational degree of freedom. Okay, So let's understand the concept. Uh, as we know for the diatomic gas, it can have translational degree of freedom and it may have rotational degree of freedom right these are the fixed degree of freedom so translational degrees of freedom are 3 and rotational degrees of freedom are 2 so total 5 degrees of freedom are there in addition it may have vibrational degree of freedom as well right now let's check for the gas a and b now for the gas a CP value is 29 and CV value is 22. So we know the relation Mayer's, uh, that is also called as a Mayer's relation CP minus CV is equals to R. Right. So from here we can see 29 minus 22 is what R is. Okay. So that means the value of R is 7. And we also know the relation between the CV and the degree of freedom. So CV is written as F by 2 into R. So the degrees of freedom in A, gas A, is 2 times of CV and CV value is 22 divided by R and what about R? R value is 7. So that is 22 by 7 is 3.14 into 2. So that becomes 6.28. Right. So that can be approximated to 6. So clearly we can see that if the gas a has uh, 6 degrees of freedom and since it is diatomic so that means there must be 3 due to the translational 2 due to the rotational and remaining one is here due to the vibrational degree of freedom right similarly let's analyze the gas b for gas b as well we can write cp minus cv is equals to r so the CP and CV value are given to us as 30 and 21 respectively. So 30 minus 21 is what R is. Also R value is what 9. Okay. Now CV can be written as F by 2 into R. So CV value for gas B is 21 into 2 divided by R. R value is 9. Right. So that becomes 42 by 9. This is the degree of freedom of gas B, so which is 4.66. This can be approximated to 5. So now we can see these 5 degree of freedom will be from 3 are from translational and 2 are from rotational. So there is no vibrational degree of freedom, right? Now we can check gas A has one vibrational degree of freedom and B has none, right? which is given to us in the option B. Okay, another options are not correct as in option A, A is rigid. So if it is rigid, so that means it will uh, not have any vibrational degree of freedom. So which makes it incorrect. C option, A has one vibrational uh, mode and B has two, makes it incorrect. Since B has zero uh, vibrational degree of freedom, both A and B has a uh, vibrational degree of freedom, which also is incorrect since B has zero vibrational degree of freedom so the correct answer would be option b i hope this helps you with the answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today